Have you considered making a playlist with all of the music you stream with? The thing is, the music I stream with currently, all of that is on my local files. I'm not using like YouTube playlist or anything because I, I download the music by myself and then I edit it to make sure the musics are around 5 minutes. Just so that, cause like if I use YouTube, it's gonna be weird to have musics that are like only 1 minute long and then the next music is like 10 minutes long. So I pretty much manually edit all of the musics that I like. I could make a list of it, that's an easy thing that I could do I could export a list of text of the songs that I use that's very much a thing I see that content and you advanced more off camera huh okay so Here's the thing, I did not just do Into the Future off camera, yes I grinded pretty much everything, I intentionally left out one treasure, <laughs> just in case if I'm thinking, should I do like Moon Tree while lacking one treasure, just so that it's a little bit more challenging. <laughs> but other than that, that's not the only thing that I've been doing off stream. You might notice that actually a couple of days ago I was saying I probably would stream on the 3rd so that I can do Manic Maha, which didn't happen, I didn't stream on the 3rd actually. Instead what happened was that I pretty much just, I, I just did it on my own. So that's a thing, I did Death Hawk on my off stream. I feel like it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna win Death Hawk anyways, right? But. I took a screenshot just for the commemoration, you know? But also another thing that happened, we beat Manic Jam! <laughs> if you think I'm going to let Manic Jam go away at 10% health, you're fucking wrong. I am a very, very stubborn man. I said, you know what? Fuck you, I'm, I'm doing this off stream. Yeah, <laughs> I just I just keep on doing it over and over and over again. And here we are. Uh, I also threw from Cyborg off stream. Cause I was thinking, uh, man, if I want to do Manic Jam, I probably should try Cyborg out after all. Yeah, I use KG. K oh, basically, KG doesn't really do much in terms of damage. But what he basically does is that he's just an extra shield for Makako and Kyclops. <laughs> Kyclops made kind of a redemption. He does a decent amount of damage uh, here and there. He survives a little bit longer due to KG. Ended up taking the hits. So yeah, that we beat two Manic off stream. <laughs> yeah, today's plan is to go on into the future tree. We have pretty much every treasure gold, except for this one, just, you know, doubling the enemy stats. <laughs> I don't think it'll be too much problem, I might die a couple times, but I don't think it should be too much problem, probably. Did you confirm that you have Saki or not? I... I think I'll use her. I think I'll use her. If you are missing on the treasure, sh treasure set, then Raging Bahamut will have 76,000 DPS. I don't really- I mean, the DP does DPS even matter? <laughs> it's like the DPS really doesn't matter. What really matters in the future tree is the health of the peons. Like the peon health, and well, I guess the peon damage too would be so intense, it would actually be a big trouble. But like Raging Bahamut himself being stats up doesn't really matter that much because he will get status to death for the most part and he is thought relatively easily. Okay, so now we're in Moon. How about another prediction? <laughs> We can do prediction like every try and just like, will this be the try? Let's, let's do that, let's do that. Going to be the run. Two minutes, predict. Now, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you a believer or are you a doubter? Rover isn't going to tank Bahamut, I am very much aware of that. He's going to tank the peons. Because the peons in this stage really pushes if you don't need shield well. How's that idea of redrawing the avatar of yours going so far? I, it's actually been on like on the finishing touches. At least on design wise, it's on the finishing touches. I might, I'm still gonna have to rethink stuff here and there. Let's try this. Let's go. I'm honestly kind of worried that we don't have enough meat shields. Also, real quick, Kamel is by t normal timer, right? Basically like uh, Elizabeth in Moon 2 if I have to guess. Oh gosh, these are really strong. Even Drama have a hard time clearing these guys already. Already. Uh, uh, okay, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. <laughs> uh... Oh, OMG, look, the game. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry, the game crashed. I don't know, it's not, it's not my fault. <laughs> wow, look, the game crashed. I don't know, I'm sorry, the game restarted by itself. Uh, I didn't lose. He didn't die. Yeah, exactly, I didn't die. If I lure. Cyberpunk would die. Now that I think about it, I wonder if that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I feel like it is, but I'm already too committed by now. Fuck. I should have lured. I should have lured. Uh, I really should have lured. Should I lure now? Is this, is this too late to lure now? <sighs> Maybe I should have brought Makako out first, actually. Uh, whatever. Good lord, these lemurs are so strong! Holy shit! This lemur is wrecking my shit up. Okay. I might need more meat shields. Freeze, please! 
You've gotten so much chances. None of you are freezing. I hate you both so much. How many attacks have you landed, Kyclops? Vigler, please. Nobody is freezing. What the hell is this? What the f one freeze use second form oh my god i forgot about that i changed that because i recently did aku axe and well i did panic jam too i can't believe none of you are pointing this out earlier too all right that's first try i might actually need five meat shields because the lemur are so strong use more 75 meat shields instead of eraser no because i need the erasers to stall the peons the peons are the ones that pushes the most here and if all of my meat shields die in one shot like maybe i could swap eraser because the eraser is the a little bit weaker than Manic Eraser. I really think you need more treasures. The point of this run is to not have treasures. That's the point. That's the point. Use a guide? Use what guide? <laughs> what guide? I'm doing this no treasures. Guides are just gonna tell me to use treasures. I'm honestly kind of fearing that Cyberpunk might not do much, but I'm also afraid of the Kamel. Like that Kamel, if I kill Bahamut fast enough, I could use Makako, but that's if I kill Bahamut fast enough, and this is a 200% Bahamut. Fuck it, let's just try this again. We've changed Kyclops form, I think we just need to stall better at the beginning. Oh right, prediction, prediction, hold on, prediction. There we go. We just put in 20,000 points immediately, you guys are a big gambler, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> You guys really like gambling, holy shit. <laughs> this is what gacha games do to people. Yeah, you know what, you're right. Better fail for me because I just spent 4k. You're gonna lose all of your points. Get ready. There's 40,000 points on me losing. And there's 16k on me winning. Oh my god, you guys. That's what, that's a good freeze, alright. Oh, what? You got hit? Really? Nice, nice, good freeze. Going well, actually. At least so far. Also, it's kind of a good thing that I'm using uh, Grace Cat and Manic Mohawk so that they get spaced out. I spent all of my energy, you guys. Actual gambling addicts. Of course, Vigler misses. That's what he does best. Vigler? Oh, wait. Did you miss again? <laughs> you little shit. The CC strat definitely is working out. Ah, there we go. One shot, even though still didn't do jack shit. Nice! We're doing really well! <laughs> Lucas, please die! Jesus Christ! You guys are absolutely rooting for my destruction. But don't worry, doubters, you will not avail. The believers will win. I believe in the believers! Believe in me! Who believes in you?! Let's go! It's not even close, baby! All I needed was to change Cyclops form and I win! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Downers in shamble. My points! It's 200% and Kamel isn't even out. Let's go! 29% of you who voted on second try. Eating really well tonight. 16.8k on second try, let's go. And 42k for you, Downers. All of you are gone. There you go, there's your points. Let's go! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got to live with a box now. Yeah, that's what you get for being a gambling addict. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> Where every dream dies. Ooh, I hate this shit. You did sign up for it, don't say I didn't warn you. Finally got Awakened Bahamut after getting so many Manics, exactly. I got- Do I get like more than half of Manics already? How many Manics do I have? I have Mohawk. I have Eraser, Bird, and Dragon, and Titan. Yeah, I do have more than half of the Manics before I got into the future tree. NP time, boy. Hell yeah. Who cares about Wigan Bahamut, right? It's like, we got this? Evolve button? Nah, who cares? I don't really need any of that. 400 NP. Let's go. It's finally time. Can can double money. Our true reward. Let's go. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing those those sort of talents. Like, okay, one of these days, I'm gonna schedule a stream where I'm going to talk about my own take on NP priority. And I think people who says it's like, oh, Pizza Wave or Camera Survive, stuff like that, are like the top tier talent that you should get first. I think they're wrong. <laughs> I think you shouldn't get those first. I think you should save up your NP. It's a very good talent for sure. But I. Don't think that's how you should spend your NP. But as a celebration, let's just get Ring Girl true form. Let's go. All right, it's time to actually claim Awakened Bahamut. Hell yeah. Finally, the boy is here. I'm actually a little bit sleepy. 
<laughs> Fuck. But I still want to stream a little bit more. I really wish there's a feature. If you see a missing treasure and you can double tap the missing treasure and then it'll just take you to there. Please. That would be so nice. And I know like Ponos has been doing a lot of quality of life improvement for Battle Cats here and there. So Ponos, please, if you're listening, this would be a very good addition. <laughs> they will add it in seven years. And then in like 14 years later, they will finally add volume slider. <laughs> And maybe in 25 years, Enemy Dictionary will actually be proper. <laughs> Man, honestly, I still don't get why they made Enemy Guide like fucking this. What is this? This is so bad. <laughs> you have a proper cat dictionary right here. It's like, this is very good. This is neat. And then Enemy Dictionary is just a fucking mess. It's just like, yeah, scroll through all like 500 of our different enemies to find the one that you want. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know, I recently saw, I was looking for a screenshot of Fish Cat to show uh, to a server, and when I was googling it, I saw like a very old screenshot of Fish Cat where there's only like five traits or so. <laughs> it's like on the screen, it feels so weird. Maybe you can try finding it there. It's like, there's only <laughs> there's only six traits, which just feels so cursed for some reason. It's like, back then when Alien just came out, it was like, it's a really big thing. It was like, holy shit, there's like six traits. Alien is such a cool trait. And now, now we have like so much traits going on. And they finally add traitless. They finally add traitless. Only took them six years too. Jeez. That was back when Cat Dictionary just came out. Really? I didn't even, I thought Cat Dictionary was already a thing like a very long time ago. I didn't even know there was like a... a new edition thing kind of thing. It came out after Aliens, really? Wow, I didn't know that. It's weird to t remember Alien and Zombies are newer edition. Yeah, the OG traits were just up to Angel. Angel were already like the most unique trait. And then they add Aliens and it was like, holy shit, it's like, this is so cool. I remember there was at one point where they put out a teaser on Twitter, on Instagram, I think. I think it was like a post of like the cats like looking into space or something like that. The floating enemies used to be traitless ones or I remember it wrong. I found mistaken there used to be a point in time where floating seems to have both floating trait and quote-unquote traitless trait uh, on ones together because I remember there were debates about this and I thought it's like no nah, that's really stupid but then there are people who says like no it actually was a thing these guys have both floating and traitless at the same time right right yeah and, and then they got removed when shadow gal was added because shadow gal I'm pretty sure is the only uh unit that can target traitless that doesn't target floating because you know back then we have like stuff like Jamira, which technically technically targets traitless, but it also targets floating, so it doesn't actually matter. So yeah, Shadow Gal was the first actual anti-traitless. So at that point in time, they have to actually like, oh fuck, we actually have to remove the traitless trait on floating enemies. Oh, we got Shrine now. Not that it's gonna do much, but let's go draw a fortune slip. Disaster. Oh fuck. You know, I remember there used to be a big fuss on Gamma Toto locks and stuff like that. Where does that go? Nobody ever talks about those anymore. Like Gamma Toto Locks or stuff like this. Like these are still like pretty funny texts. Hell, you'd better keep that thought to yourself. Visitor, Miss Sign will soon get tired of waiting. Lost object, your mom gave it away last year. <laughs> A lot of people used to talk about these stuff and like share their own uh, fortune and stuff like that. But now nobody, nobody cares about this anymore. I remember there was like a subreddit, I think, that was dedicated to Gamma Toto Locks because they were just so funny. But I guess it just died off. I guess nobody cared about Gamma Toto Locks anymore. I, I think when like Gamma Toto Locks first came out. I think there was so much post in the uh, Battlecats Reddit to the point where they have to make another subreddit for it. Just because it was just flooding the Reddit. Like everyone was talking about Gamma Toto Lost because it's so funny. <laughs> I, if you guys are uh, like following my Twitter, <laughs> very recently I made a post that apparently blew up. I made a funny haha for the new Kirby demo and it blew up. It like have a couple thousand likes by now I think. <laughs> I mean, it's a Kirby meme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Twitter famous now, let's go. But if, you, if you're going to follow my Twitter, just be warned, there's like no battle cats whatsoever. <laughs> I, I don't post battle cats there at all. Literally all I do is retweet memes and retweet VTuber arts. That's that's pretty much the main things that I do. I enjoy anime, but the only VTuber I watch is you. Eh, unfortunate. But like, I still wish there's more people who, who I could talk VTubers with. It's like nobody, nobody in this fucking community talks about VTubers. Like I'm in a, I'm in a fan server of Hololife. I mean, that is pretty much my main VTuber group that I'm watching. I mean, right now I watch a lot of indie stuff too, but like since Hololife is still one of my main uh, VTuber contents, I, I'm in the Hololife fan server and I made a lot of pretty good acquaintance with them. And in that Hololife fan server, 
I am known as the Japanese goblin guy. <laughs> like, I, I'm not really known for like battle cats or whatever. It's like nobody really knows battle cats. Nobody really sees me like a big YouTuber or whatever. It's like, I, I'm the Japanese goblin guy. <laughs> Yeah, we are Japanese Goblin! Do you have a game of Takatobi Goroshi? There's a meme channel called The Experiment, and once in a while I just make a meme edits of Japanese Goblin. Everyone expects my post to be Japanese Goblin now. I am a the Japanese Goblin! Japanese Goblin is hella based. Honestly, I would absolutely be down on like making a Japanese Goblin karaoke, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like four people watching. <laughs> Four people watching, all of them are AFK. All of them just have the stream muted, they just don't, don't want to hear me sing. They just they just want to be there for the channel points. Gonna make like a Japanese Goblin Endurance stream. Or I could make like a proper Japanese Goblin cover. I really want to make a, like a quiz stream too. It's like just silly Battle Cats quiz stream or some shit like that. Where of course your channel points will be at stake. I'm going to keep on like betting everyone's channel points once in a while. Making sure everyone is bankrupt. <laughs> 